Hello, veteran 021 here. Welcome back, and we are let's playing Lagaya 2 Dual Saga. In the last episode, we completed the Cravia Hunters Guild quests and got a Heaven Secret. And right now, I have uh, two Heaven Secrets, and I plan on upgrading some gear. Now, you can get the Ultimate Plate, a Guardian's Arm, and Ruler's Leggings at the Ultimate Armor Shops. And I'm gonna just make. Uh, some upgraded shit here. Yeah, we can make a Sacred Heart, which has Dark Guard. And then we can turn this Sacred Heart into a Raging Roar, which is Lang's Ultimate Armor, or Jacket, if you will. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make that. Uh, this Guardian Arm right here, you can make a Divine Arm Guard, which has Agility Boost 2. That's actually really good. Um, and then you can make a Divine Hope, which is Lang's Ultimate Gloves uh, with a Heaven Seeker. Right now I only have one Heaven Seeker, and as you can see, the, uh, the the ability you get down there is Item Grabber, which is an ability that as you walk around, you get a random item. Uh, you find a random item, basically, wherever you're walking around. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing. I think... Uh, I think this one's actually better. I don't know about the stat increases that the Divine Hope actually gives. This doesn't really say that much. I mean, no, nothing to mentality, nothing to agility, plus 10 to charisma. I don't know, it doesn't really say much about it. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave that be. I'm not gonna mess around with that. Okay, so we have ruler leggings here. I'm gonna make stone alpines. These protect, protect against petrify, which is pretty nice. And self. Uh, I don't really care though. Uh, then we can make a Valiant Piece, which is uh, Lang's Ultimate Shoes. Which ha and they have Recovery Up. Um, and yeah, the Agility plus 60, and altogether that's probably uh, a better option for right now, seeing as I don't have another Heaven Secret to make anyways. So. Basically, I have to make some decisions. What's going to go? Well, I'm going to keep the white gloves, even though they have the intelligence cut, because honestly, Lang doesn't really need the extra intelligence anyways, as far as his stats are concerned, because he just doesn't. So what do I have to get rid of here? Well, HP, defense, and charisma, in my opinion, still aren't as important as agility, strength, and, well, I don't care about intelligence, of course, but agility and strength are the most important stats in the game, as I've said before, in my opinion. I mean, maybe defense and HP are more important to you if you're playing this game. To me, they're not. So, I'm going to get rid of the Hermit's Earring, that way I have weight to work with. As you can see, the Raging Roar is much better, and the Centurion Trials, I am going to need this extra defense. The Valiant Piece is much better. Now I have a weight left of 13, so what should I equip for the last accessory that has a weight of 13 or less? Well, I probably have a bunch of options to make accessories uh, that are actually pretty good. But I'm just going to go with what I already have. I mean, I could get some of these, like a Fugitive Necklace and MP cost up one. Eh, Garver two. I don't want to deal with that crap. AP attack. I already have a power necklace. Plenty of power necklaces. Um, yeah, I don't need a beggar's bangle. Uh, hero bangle? No, no, that's alright. Ooh, look at that! A spare armor bangle. It's got upper defense boost 2, lower defense boost 2, reverse HP defense, which, uh, yeah, defense up in er inverse proportion of remaining HP, which is also really good. And then, of course, the uh, defense bonus. So, I'm gonna go ahead and equip that. That makes the most sense with what I have. I don't think I'm going to be making any more accessories. I'm not going to need them. So, whatever. That's some decent equipment for Lang. Uh, once I get another Heaven Secret, maybe I'll make uh, the Divine Arm Guard into something better, perhaps later. But this should be pretty good for the uh, the uh, Centurion Trials. Now, yeah, this with this setup right here. Uh, his high defense takes a hit, which is probably more important, but oh well. Post battle HP and then recovery up, whatever that is. I can't remember what some of these abilities do. There's so many abilities in this game, it's really quite ridiculous. Recovery 
recovery up. What does that one do? Recovery rate increases during... I don't know what that means. What does that mean? <laughs> does it mean that your, uh, your auto regen abilities are more powerful? Like, HP regen? I don't even know. I don't know what that means. But, um, yeah, in the Centurion Trials, the extra defense is most definitely going to help. Yeah, we have to head to Demiurge Tower, although we're not going to be heading there. So, yeah, I think for the rest of the episode, I'm just going to wander around and try and get cutscenes with characters, maybe um, learn some recipes for cooking. And there's so much crap in this game to find. I mean, it really is hard to find everything. Or 100% this game, so to speak. I mean, like those furnitures right now that I'm trying to get in the auction house. I mean, God, I'm sitting there forever trying to get that shit. It's taking me forever to do. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I might u actually use some codes just to get those items so I can at least show off getting the heaven secrets once you do collect them all because it's just taking way too long. And I'm using fast forward and it's taking forever. But, yeah, because I learned how to make fried vegetables. Yay. Very nice. Yeah, there's like, I don't even know if all these, uh, these freaking things are, I don't even know if you can get all of the recipes in the game, uh, without, um, I think, you, I think some of them might, might even be missable, I don't know. That's basically what I'm trying to say, like, I don't know if I've missed some shit along the way that I can't go back and get. So it's, yeah, it's, for me, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes what's going on in, in this game. And I've never actually gotten everything playing this game. I played this game, this is my fourth time playing this game. So, I don't know, I, you'd figure you'd get everything there is to get in the game by, play, you know, if you play it that many times. But no, I've never gotten everything in this game. So there's a lot of secrets that I might try, I, I'm going to try and show off as much as I can. But... You know, there might be stuff that I might not get to or I just might not show off just for the simple fact that it's either too difficult or it's just not worth it. Like that furniture shit, pff. I mean, having secrets are nice, but to go through that kind of crap just to get it, I don't know. Like I said, I might have to cheat. Wait a minute, didn't we already see this? Oh, I guess so. Hmm. Yeah, at least people in Hunter's Wood seem to like Monjiro now. What's up, Maya? Hey, Nancy, what's going on? How you been? The rice balls. Yeah, let's help Nancy. Let's help her out for a change. Let's... Yeah. Oh, she's not going to refuse our help this time? Well, that's good. Yeah, you hardly ever thank us. Wow. But anyways, we learned how to make rice balls, and we acquired a working lunch, whatever that is. Stores 3,000 HP, huh? Wow. Nifty. What the hell is she doing in my room? <laughs> Whoa! Uh, wait, how? What are you doing in here, Sharon? 
Yeah, what are you looking for? What, are you looking for porno mags or something? What, are you accusing me of jerking off the porno mags? Huh? Yeah, what are you ranting on about, anyways? <laughs> wow, I wouldn't tell Sharon to get out of my room. <laughs> wow, Sharon's mind is eternally in the gutter, and that is not a bad thing, in my opinion. Let's just face it, if I was a cartoon, I'd be definitely trying to hook up with Sharon. I'm not going to lie. Okay, well that's cool. We saw a few little funny scenes here in Knoll. That's basically what I'm looking for. I'm trying to, like, you know, show off as much of this stuff as I possibly can, because it's kind of cool to do that in this game. Because uh, a lot of people probably don't know about it. They just beat the final boss and they're like, oh, that game is okay. You know, I, I like finding the stuff in this game. It's pretty cool that, you know, they have all this, uh, all these extra secret scenes that, you know, are missable. I want to try and show off as many of them as I can. Is there any new stuff going on here in you know? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I got a couple pieces of furniture from the kids in that house. Uh, hey, Faldo. I'm the number one man with a spear in this town. You wouldn't stand it. Yeah, he's still talking shit. It's the guy that's got a crush on Maya. I remember that dude. Hey. I look. I guess I like cute rooms, huh? Yeah, uh... If I had all the fucking different pieces of furniture, I would totally rearrange uh, the room in here uh, the way Maya likes, but I'm still missing a few key uh, furniture pieces to make that happen. Doesn't look like anything new happens here in, uh, in you know. I wonder if Sharon got smart enough to go inside. Yeah, whatever. I wasn't lucky when I killed that guy. Nothing in here. Where the hell is Sharon at? An iron. Nowhere to be found, huh? Let's start hanging out in Rhymes Cave. I'm gonna go check it out. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it is pretty nice, isn't it? Uh... No Sharon, huh? I guess Sharon decided not to come to you know. She's probably like, it's too damn cold. Or something. So yeah. I hope you guys don't mind these screw around episodes where I just look for secrets and cutscenes and stuff. Well, I suppose maybe you don't mind if you're still watching. Uh. Yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess, for you know. Doesn't look like there's anything else to do here. Already checked out Derek and. See if there's anything new in Cravia. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Hands uh, no, I don't think there's anything new there either. 
fortune uh, on cable. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, let's go back to Jenga. Yeah, actually, yeah, I haven't been to Jenga in a while. Let's go to Jenga. Maybe there's some extra scenes going on in Jenga. Jenga's a pretty big place, though, so it might be kind of hard to find everybody. It might take quite a long time just to walk around. But yeah, I think we're almost ready for these Centurion Trials. I believe I'm going to be doing that next. So, uh, that should be cool. It's really fun, in my opinion. Basically, it's like a... It's like a battle gauntlet. They have some of the strongest enemies in the game. You fight like a hundred battles. Ooh, there's Maya. What's up, Maya? What are you doing? There are other tablets over there like this one, too. Why are there so many? I don't know, and I don't even know what the hell they mean. They all say the same shit. I don't understand it. I wonder if there's like a secret to those. If there is, I haven't found it. I've even looked in the strategy guide, looking up, like, Jenga secrets, and they don't really say anything about, uh, Jenga. Like, I actually downloaded a PDF for this game, like a strategy guide. And, uh, yeah, they don't say anything about Jenga, really, other than the, uh, Centurion Trials and the shit you can trade for here. Spirits guide you. Whoa, she's walking around now. What's she doing? What's she doing, Maya? Oh. Oh, she's scripted to do that. Okay. Party members in here. Alright, see you later. It seemed that the tablets written by the Great Spirits make sense only when read in order. Wait a minute, no, I mean. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me that I'm supposed to read those things in order? And then they make sense? I wonder. I wonder. So what's the order? Hey, Kazan. Let's go talk to Chief Westwind. And yeah, uh, after I end this episode, I'm probably going to go and stock up on healing items and MP restoration items and anything I think I'm going to freaking need for the Centurion Trials. You want to bring as much recovery items and you know whatever you think you're going to need as possible because you won't be able to save and... Uh, It'll probably be in there for a very long time. I mean, it's probably going to take me a very good amount of, you know, a very large amount of videos to get through the Centurion Trials. If I want to keep them to about 20 to 30 minutes or whatever. I'll pro probably the longest I'll go is 30 minutes for, for a video for the Centurion Trials. But it's going to take a while. But I'm going to show off every single battle because I think it's worth it to do so. That way you know what you're up against when you're in there. Wait, in the proper order, where does the order start? I don't get it. Oh, they all say the same thing. 
Whatever, I don't fucking care. I think it's funny Sharon was looking through my room. Well, I suppose it's it's my just desserts. I mean, I was trying to forcefully make my way inside her room. So, hey, Sharon. Uh, valuable? You mean like something you want to sell to the auction house? Well, I don't know if we're going to find anything like that here. But... Either way, I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Lagaya 2 Dual Saga. And in the next episode, we're going to step on that magic circle and we are going to begin the Centurion Trials. The biggest and probably most challenging side quest in this game. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.